Time for a check on the TV ratings now. Let's look at the free-to-air top 10 for week 22 first. And the voice there in number one spot for nine. In fact, nine doing uh, very well in uh, the top 10 there. Uh, seven had seven news Sunday at number two. Turning the page 10, the biggest loser at number nine. And looking at subscription TV, the top 10 for week 22 there. All uh, sports there. And on the second page, you can see coming in at number eight, uh, the Monday night with Maddie John's show on Fox Sports 1. James, just looking at the uh, ratings, I just wanted to ask you too about the figures uh, coming through for all the football that's been on this week. We've had the State of Origin, the World Cup qualifier uh, for the Socceroos as well, and, and subscription TV, some big numbers there too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, subscription TV did very well, as you said, that most of that top ten. Uh, the State of Origin, the first of the three games, did great business for nine on Wednesday night. 2.5 million across the five markets. Uh, it was on the primary channels, I think, in all markets except Perth, where they put it on GEM. That's virtually in line with uh, Game 1 last year, so I'd be quite happy with that. And the, uh, you mentioned the uh, World Cup qualifier, the Socceroos, I think, versus Japan, at about 450,000, which is a great audience for um, SBS. And I'm remembering that, I think that game was on delay, so they didn't even have it live. Uh, we've seen the return of MasterChef, the fifth season there. Uh, what are the chances of seeing it in the top ten next week? Uh, not very good, I don't think. Um, look, it, it, it launched lower than it uh, did last year. That won't surprise anybody. But we look back through the numbers, how it did last year. It picks up as you go through. So, you know, I think we'll see some episodes pushing uh, closer to a million, maybe in a week or two. Uh, and I think it'll probably end up doing reasonably well. Chris, what's your mm. sort of thinking on that? Obviously, it's the big ratings hope for, yep. for 10, always a, a, been a performer for them. What, what's your thinking on how it'll fare? Well, I think James is right. It builds audience quite well. Um, uh, he's right. It has had a, uh, a softer start than, than, than previous years. But I think that um, over the, the course of the, the show of the series, you, you will see it grow. And, and I'd, be, I'd be more confident than James that it can, you can hold a regular million audience um, as it builds into the series per night. In terms of the, uh, the TV ad market, mm. What's your reading of it? Is it you know, still pretty tentative out there, pretty short term? Will, will it meet forecasts? Yeah, the ad market is still volatile um, and, it's, and it's still very short term. The good news for TV this year is actually overall TV ratings are up um, and that's been driven by this significant amount of event TV we've had this year. You know, we've had uh, uh, My Kitchen Rules, we've, well, obviously MasterChef is on now, we've had uh, The Block. Uh, we've had the launch of, of House Rules. So there's, there's a lot more event TV on air at the moment. And while some of them aren't as performing as well as they have in previous years, including The Voice, um, the overall amount of viewing from these programs is, is, um, is contributing to more total TV viewing. So that's the good news, because it's giving the networks um, more audience uh, uh, to sell. And any you know big shows that you'll be watching out for for the second half that you think are going to be the well well, well sticking with ten you know maybe the bachelor uh, the re, the re uh, um, construction of the bachelor or bachelor show might be uh, something to watch out for excellent thank you for that Chris um, and it's great been great to have you on the program Chris Nolan from Starcom Media Vest uh, and James just one final question for you voting's open for the Astra Awards this week and the host has been named too for the awards. Yeah, Deborah Hutton's going to be looking after the show this year. She's currently uh, hosting the movie show on uh, Foxtel. She's also one of the nominations. The uh, most interest, I guess, in the most popular, these are the categories that the public can vote for. The most popular male looks like it could be down to a battle between Andrew Winter and Maddie Johns. Um, Paul Murray's also nominated in there from Sky News, of course. And in the women, it's the uh, host from Fox Sports, maybe up against Shana Blaze could be the battle there. All right, James, thank you as always. Joining us from Bangkok this week, James Manning there, editor and publisher of Media Week. That's all we've got time for this week from the team here. Thanks for your company.